Okay, that is Monday. Okay. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. <laughs> His tone changes when I see him. Good man. Good morning, asshole. I'm not gonna answer. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please. There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. Oh. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh! The delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Why do you ask? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Her ribbon was cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. <laughs> More gardens that. So, I saw Kamoshida at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with this shit eating green on his face. Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. We're definitely gonna pull this off. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. Uh, the board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. I'm ready for this. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. Now going in without me, okay? Yeah, give it a let us know if you're going to the palace. He got in trouble on the first day of school. Those guys are getting expelled. Nobody wants a troublemaker in school. Everyone's got high hopes for the new girl, Yoshizawa-chan. Damn, she's fine. I wonder if I have a shot with her. Okay. It's finally set to set by an emotion. I bet that guys are ready to go. I'm ready for the signal. Well, I'll leave the plan to you. Alright. I think it's better if we finish the palace early. So that we have time for uh, confidence and other uh, stuff, right? Because I always do that for Persona 4. And I think it's going to be the same as Persona 5. Really? Okay. 
We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. Okay. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Uh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Yeah. Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Okay. We have to make them pay. Okay, time for the meeting. That's it for that meeting. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. It's just a tree of us. It's such a small thing, but... Damn! Hmm? What's up? Nothing. I, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you, too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so. What do you think? Cat girl. Sexy cat. Kitty woman. Cat girl. going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Because it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! <laughs> More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. Oh, what's happening? My master would like a word with you. Okay, we have to meet Igor, for his infamous. The prisoner has returned! Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I never asked for this. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate! <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. What? <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities well, you the that exist within personas, you. Right? Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have yeah. them be reborn as new ones. Yeah. 
By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. Okay. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Zero. Will it gain new power? I wonder. Girls, let us begin. I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Bye, Arsene. What is happening? Oh, that's cute. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. What? Ooh. All right. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. 
It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Slave book. Fine. It's somewhere. What the hell? King book. King book. Ah. Okay, this is about Kamushida. King book. Um, is the slave book? You know, it's somewhere. Oh, there is. How suspicious! All right, beefcake. Quinn book. Uh, okay, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe uh, it's the book. You get it? Yes, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Whoa, it opened up. You got it, Joker. Let's take a look inside. Uh, the hell is this room? There are tons of pictures of Suzui in here. Suzui, goddamn. Wait, it's all pics of her? <sighs> and are you okay? Sorry, you have to see this. We'll make him pay for this. Yeah, definitely. I feel even more motivated to do this now. I'm sure it'll feel awful. But we should search this room. There has to be something in here if he was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. It's somewhere. Kamoshida's medal. Is this... a medal? Well, it has to be important. He went through all the trouble to hide it here, after all. I guess we'll take it then. Wait. There's something under the metal, too. It's a different map from the one we have. This is lucky. Let's take it with us. Okay. Aha! Our map's complete now! So is it gonna tell us where the treasure is? Yeah, look. It has to be here. That's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, it looks like I'd a gym, we're about right? Halfway there. All right, let's hurry over there. What the hell is that? U-shape. No. Now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. Right. What the hell is this? This room seems different from everywhere else we've seen so far. Yeah, and there's something super suspicious over there. That's... Come on, follow me! Is that what you want, Morgana? Is that the item that you've been looking for? 
What is this? What is this? Same man. Just what I thought. A will seed. Will seed. Palaces are locations that grew distorted from their original forms due to their rulers' cognitions. When such distortions coalesce into form, this is the result. I call it a will seed. Distortions coalesce into will seeds? Should I try explaining that again? Uh, uh, just forget it. That's a will seed. Moving on. So, what do we do with it? We burn it. We take it. Oh, it may not it. be as prized as a treasure, but it's still quite the rare find. Making it ours will only do us good. I think. Um, is it really okay to take it? Nothing shitty better happen when you take it. Like, some trap going off, or we all end up cursed. I'll give it a try anyway. Red last seed. Now then. What? No! I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm just going in blind. I don't see a weakness. But let's try. Nice. Oh. All right. This place. Holy shit! That treasure thing's gotta be in here. Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it. Are you sure? Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. What do you mean? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, we are going to steal your heart. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. Well then. Is the place. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Nice. Yeah.
What happened now? Ooh. One crystal of lust. Whoa! Um. So you had no clue either. No. Huh? Listen up. All right. So I'm thinking. I've been thinking. I think I want to. Get all my party, both Ryuji, An, and me, and Morgana to level 10 first before facing uh, Kamushida. Because it says after I send a calling card, it will be the la it, it will s it will go to the final battle with Kamushida. I don't think I'm ready yet. Even if I am, I think it's gonna be hard with my level, with my current level actually. Level ten, BG level ten, Morgana level ten, on level ten. Yeah, I think at least level eleven. I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grind a bit until level eleven. All right, see you in a bit. Let's go. Come on. Okay, let's go. What do you want to do? All right. Well done. <laughs> oh, we did everything actually. Okay. see from. Yes. Hey. Uh, we're back to the real world. It was long. That was very long. It was a long dungeon session. Instead of hanging around, you should be studying or something. If there aren't any customers, you can use the shop. Anyway, fine. <clears throat> Within reason, obviously. Don't touch anything in the kitchen. If you're gonna study, you can use that table. Just don't leave the place covered in razor crumbs, alright? Well, that's right. One of my customers mentioned that the counter is a pretty comfortable place to read. Well, your time's yours to spend. Just make sure it's after my customers are gone. Oh, hey, if you're gonna clean the shop, I'm not gonna turn you down to cleaning stuff in the bathroom. You can study to improve knowledge. Improve kindness. Okay. You back home yet? I'm pooped. It hit me like a goddamn ton of bricks when I sat down. Well, I guess we did walk pretty far in. I'm glad we find a treasure thing though. So Kamushiri'll turn into a good guy if you steal that, huh? Either way, it's up to you when we send a card, Ren. Call us over to Hada Hauda when you're ready. Nice work, guys. See ya. The real challenge is coming up. I hope you're ready. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be hard. Hmm. Hmm? I'm not giving you any allowance. If you want money, get a job. How schools are divided by semester? S E M T E R semester. Mess school separate. Okay. All right. Nice. Man. 
Oh, okay. Hey. Yo. Now listen up. What do you want to do? I want to study a bit. For now. <laughs> Clean up the blank. Inoffensive. 